Yo, what's up? How you doing, fellas? Your boy Al, and Darius. Check out the camera, look at him. Smile. <laughs> anyway, we're out here. We're here to share with you what I got going on right now. Um, Darius would like to share with you the train we broke. You broke this today, right? Who broke? Who broke it? Did you, did you break it? Did you break this? Huh? Did you break it? Yes or no? Did you break it? Yes. Yes. I broke this today. Oh, um, I got these new palm trees. These? Yeah, there's these new palm trees. We got these new palm trees from Grand Central Gems. And uh, they're not bad. I'll make it some more. Yeah? Yeah, that. So the reason for this video is all about this, the TCS Stay Alive Decoder. As you can see, it's about the same size as the regular decoder. So there you go. So let's head downstairs to the layout and see how this works, all right? Let's see you Okay, so I'm down here at the layout right now. And as you can see, what I have here is an XT70M by Athlon Genesis. Uh, a couple things I want to do before we get this started so you get an understanding is I wanted to show you the actual engine and the wheels. So as you can see the wheels are pretty clean. They're not just dirty old wheels. They're pretty clean. Uh, quick advertisement to Woodland Scenics for this tiny track. I don't know why because they didn't give this to me for free. It's not like they sent it to me to review it. All I can tell you is I bought this a couple months ago. It was in one of my videos. Uh, I'll give you 100% honest to God truth that this thing works really really good. I'm pretty clumsy so using one of these going around the track I end up hitting everything and just for that reason alone, that makes this tiny track 10 times better. Uh, the track cleans the track very well. It comes in this kit right here, like this. $29.79 at AA Hobbies. It comes with some additional pads and some solution in there. I haven't used a solution in other pads yet, but I mainly just use this. Cleaning the track works very, very well. So, as much as I hate to give them a nice free advertisement, I will be honest and say that you should want to get one of these because this works really well. You can also remove the handle and clean it like, you know, with your two fingers like this too if you're not as clumsy as me. I think showing off that tidy track was kind of important since we're on the subject of dirty track and stay alive decoders. Now just like any part of the layout, the turnout seemed to be the most problem part. But, as you see you got a little stall there, but it doesn't mean it's always a problem there. Got a little bit of a stall there. So as you can see, there's a couple spots right there, even though my track is not too dirty, where the engine stalls. So what happens is basically, maybe it's just a turnout, which is the most important thing. The problem with these engines and decoders that we have, I think, all around the world, is just going over the turnouts, where there's a loose connection, something or other, that causes it to flicker or stall going through at slow speeds. The biggest deal about these decoders is we'll go over these turnouts without stalling or anything and if that's achievable with this decoder it's really really good and the, be the extra benefit to it is you got some dirty track you're not going to have it flickering the lights flickering or stalling anywhere on the layout which is really good so just before we get to installing the decoder which is as simple as plugging it in let me just do a before and after of some tape put down uh, just to show that obviously we all know that it won't go over the piece of tape way it is right now but let's just do it just to see how it works and just to show before and after all right so let's do that now here's where you know that this engine will not go over so obviously it stalls stall every time okay as you can see here's your TCS decoder Plug it in this one. Another 
the change to this is that I'm gonna have to use a new number because it's a new decoder, so it is number three. And as you see, the light came on, and let's see the operation. Let's see how it works. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Right over the paper. No loss of power. Let's see how slow I can go. About this speed. Got some flicker in there. Now judging by that light, something very, very important to note that I really think is important here. What appears to be happening is the capacitors are powering the engine, not the lights, the engine itself, which means you'll have the flickering with the lights if I'm correct. So let's see it again. We'll go over it. It looks like the lights always flicker. It doesn't bother or it doesn't mess up the momentum of the engine, but it, should, it certainly does flicker. So let's see how that works again. Let's see. And again, looks like I'm correct. What you see here is the engine keeps going. Once it gets over this certain area, the light flickers and then goes out. Now it's out. And as soon as it gets back into an area where there's power, it comes back up. Now we're going to try another thing. Emergency stop. Let's see how that works. Fast and press emergency stop. Still stops. Now we're going to go over 18 inches of track and see. Picks up as it goes by. Do it again. Slows down. Picks up. Now I'm going at speed step 15. See if it can make the whole thing. The light turns out. And it makes the whole thing. Pretty good, pretty good. Right now, 23 inches without power. Let's give it some power and let's see how it goes. Speed step 15. Light goes all the way out. Oh, not enough power at step 15. We go again, speed step 20. Let's see if we can make it all the way through. Light goes out, still going. Will it make it? No. 45. Right over it goes. Now here's something that you, you've got to know, okay? Something you've got to know. If I do emergency stop on this dead piece of track, that engine will still go because it's not getting the command from the track. So let's give that a test out just to show. Emergency stop. It stops once it goes over the track though. So here we are in the two section, the two turnouts right here that there was a problem going through really, really slow. I'm going to send it through going at like eight. It's only a step eight, going through really slow. The lights, like I said, will probably still flicker because we found out the lights have nothing to do with the motor still going. So the lights might still flicker, but I think it'll go through continuously with no problem. The lights are flickering twice. Perfect, unbelievable at such slow scale speed. Step four, it's literally creeping along.
Now the turnout is the most problematic part of the layout. If you can make it through this without stalling, it's pretty damn good. Especially at speed step four through turnouts. Just made it through one. It's on to the second one. There you go, made it through both of them at that scale slow speed. Perfect, very, very perfect. Hi, Oso. Say hi. Speed step 15. Made it all the way through. Okay, now there you have it. The actual review and the operation of a TCS Stay Alive decoder. I gotta say, with the testing I've done here on my layout, although my track isn't bad, it's not perfect. The turnouts, as I showed you in the video, you just saw yourself, stalls on some of the turnouts really slow speed. A lot of engines do. You put in the TCS Stay Alive decoder, boom, works really well. Now on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the very best on this operation of this decoder, I would give it a 9. The reason why I'm not going to give it a 10 is that what you saw in the video is that the lights go off upon going over that track. So the kind of the problem that you have there is still flickering lights. We didn't know that. The decoder doesn't say that. Nowhere does it say that. So now you know for a fact. I think the bigger deal is that you don't want the flickering lights. Um, so in the same areas where you have the flickering lights, not the stalling, but the flickering lights, you'll still have that going on. So that's a downside to it. If that was resolved with the capacitor, I would give this decoder a 10. Very easily, very nice decoder. Is it worth $42? Um, prices might go down when it's more affordable. If it comes down to spending $24 on a decoder or $42 for one of these, on the future of my engine purchases, with the decoders that will be added to them, I would prefer to add in the TCS Stay Alive. So it's a very, very good decoder as you've seen it in operation works very well I don't know what other questions you may have if you have any more questions just ask them there um, this decoder probably is gonna end up staying in there the biggest deal with the decoders is obviously the thickness so if you're putting the shell on top of an engine and the thickness is you know like I said about twice the thickness as a regular decoder that's where you can have a problem which it was showed in here so that was the operation of a TCS decoder really 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 hot as you know, I didn't get any endorsements and it wasn't sent to me for free, so I'm giving you a true, honest, real review and operation of it. It is well worth the deal. So, your boy Al gotta go to work tomorrow, and I'll see you on a rebound. Alright? Peace out!